Hello comrades, it's the Finnish Bolshevik. I just wanted to make a quick little video about something that um, I'm sure we've all experienced for a long time. And that's um, anti-communists using fake Stalin quotes. Quotes attributed to Stalin, but which he never actually said. And there are tons of them. Some of them are very famous, and we'll get to some examples in just a moment. So... Uh, this website is called Wikiquote, and it contains quotes from all kinds of famous people on a variety of topics, and it also has a page on Stalin. And it also has a useful section called Misattributed. So if you click here, Misattributed, here you see some fake quotes, some quotes that have falsely been attributed to Stalin, but which he actually never said. And the most useful part about this website is that it actually has sources for where these quotes um, originally actually come from. So in some cases we actually know where the quote is from. In tons of cases I'm sure that uh, some random guy has just invented a quote and attributed it to Stalin and we'll never find out where it's actually from, but in some cases we actually know where they, where they come from. Um, there are some quotes on this uh, site which the site claims that uh, are uh, legit, but they still might be fake. So take everything on this uh, on this page with a grain of salt, like like these, for instance. These are by contemporary witnesses. Some of these are probably not real either, but it lists the sources where they come from, like um, Montefiore's biography of Stalin, which is an absolutely terrible biography, and Montefiore is a terrible historian and nobody should trust anything he says his um his book is called stalin the court of the reds are terrible book so i would i would say that all of those are fake as well but we don't need to get into that so let's just look at these um ones that have definitely been proven to be fake i'm sure you've all heard this one quote that says for some people four walls are three too many there's other variants of this like some people don't need four walls, they just need one wall or something, which obviously implies that if you get the wall, that means you get executed. So some people don't need four walls, they just need one wall because they're going to be executed. And that is often attributed to Stalin, but it's, and it's not a real quote. The um, page says, This seems to have originated with the Spanish military leader Juan Domingo de Monteverde who in Francisco de Miranda, A Transatlantic Life in the Age of Revolution, 2003 by Karen Rossini, page 239, is quoted as having said, four walls are three too many for a prison, you only need one for execution. So it seems that that's the original source of this quote, and this, this dude lived in the late 1700s, early 1800s, so definitely earlier than Stalin. This is probably the most famous out of all of these, and this one is always uh, repeated even though it's completely fake. The death of one man is a tragedy, the death of millions is a statistic. So that's always attributed to Stalin, but Stalin never actually said it. And um, there are many different versions of this, and these are examples of when people have attributed it to Stalin, in a book called Portrait of a Tyrant, The Time of Stalin, from the 80s, it has been attributed to Stalin. Julia Solovyova states in her review of Konstantin Dushenko's 1997 Dictionary of Modern Quotations, it says that Russian historians have no record of the lines, death of one man is tragedy, death of a million is a statistic, commonly attributed by English language dictionaries to Joseph Stalin. So already in the 90s, uh, people understood that there's no proof or no source or evidence that Stalin actually ever said this, but in English language uh, literature, it is often attributed to Stalin. But this seems to be the original source. It says, the quote may originate from Ran Zershischer Witz, 1925, by Kurt Tukolsky, which seems to be a German language uh, work of fiction where a character says 
The war, I can't find it so terrible. The death of one man, that is a catastrophe. 100,000 deaths, that is a statistic. That seems like a pretty good candidate to be the original source of this. Another possible source, or an intermediary. There are so many different variations of this. And obviously the original quote says 100,000 deaths and not millions. But there's another version from the 50s, from 1956, from a fiction book called The Black Obelisk, which says, but probably the reason is that one dead man is death and two million are only a statistic. So it seems that this quote is evolving, but at this point it's uh, not attributed to Stalin yet. Actually, I wonder what is the earliest point when this was attributed to Stalin. Could it be this one in the 80s? That seems rather late. Another variant of this is from a book, uh, Thoughts of a Biologist, by Jean Rothstand from 1939, which says, Kill one man and you are a murderer, kill millions of men and you are a conqueror, kill them all and you are a god. So yeah, no actual proof that Stalin has ever said this, but clearly this was a quote that seems to have originated in fiction in Germany, and then it evolved over time, and possibly as late as the 80s was first attributed to Stalin, and after that it's become super common. Nowadays it's attributed to Stalin all the time. Another famous one is you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Apparently this quote first appeared in English in late 1700s, and it is originally a French quote, so it's hundreds of years old. Time magazine has attributed it to Lazar Kaganovich, but in the 30s Walter Duranti associated it with uh, Stalin, or the Soviets generally, where he says, but to put it brutally, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. There's another one, which I think was more popular in Russia, called, uh, I think, When You Chop Wood, Chips Fly. There's a Finnish version, very hard to translate, but it seems like a very common saying. It's possible that some communist has actually said this, but they didn't coin it. It's just a saying that has been prevalent. This is a very famous one. Death solves all problems, no man, no problem. And this has been attributed to Stalin numerous times. People still attribute it to Stalin to this day. But it actually comes from a fiction book, from a novel called Children of the Arbat by Anatoly Rubakov. It's from 1987. And in his later book, Rybakov admitted that he had no sources for this statement. It seems that probably Rybakov invented it himself. It seems like it. This one, we will hang the capitalists with the rope that they sell us, has been attributed to Stalin, has been attributed to Marx, has been attributed to Lenin, but who knows if any of them actually said this. This quote, there's nothing really bad uh, about this quote, in my opinion, so I don't really care if they said this or not. But it's just interesting that um, capitalist history is so bad that they just attribute things to people which they never actually said. It just demonstrates the poor quality of capitalist research. There's a book from the 80s that um, is called They Never Said It, where um, it says that the phrase derives from a rumor that Lenin said this. Who knows if Lenin actually said this, but apparently there was a rumor that Lenin said it, and then later it was attributed to Marx and also to Stalin. I think, to be honest, I've seen it uh, attributed mostly to Marx, this one I've heard many times, ideas are more powerful than guns, we do not let our enemies have guns, why should we let them have ideas? Often attributed to Stalin, but there isn't any source which shows that Stalin said this at any time. The page says that the earliest source outside the blogosphere, which attributes the quote to Stalin, is the book Quotations for Public Speakers, a historical, literary and political anthology from 2001. However, it does not give a source for the quote. So it seems that this quote probably was floating around in the public consciousness. It was the rumor that Stalin said this quote was floating around, but uh, nobody knows where it comes from. There's no source for it. 